Hey guys, here we are back again with a full day of eating on a Sunday afternoon here. It's a little after 12, I just got done making my my first meal, my lunch. I normally don't eat breakfast, um, so yeah, but anyway. What we have here is two ground up turkey burger patties on a salad. And then we also, well I also put some uh, chipotle ranch on there, dressing as you can see. A little bit of spices and stuff, oregano, parsley, whatever. And then we got ourselves a nice uh, 6 uh, 0.75 ounce pork tenderloin. Looks delicious. And then I also uh, decided to do something a little different today. I have a chopped up uh, pear in there, as you can see, and also a banana. 200 grams of pear and about 100 grams of banana in there. I also, um, ah, get off there. Oh, you see, I have it mixed in there. I have it mixed in with some uh, red velvet, uh, red velvet protein powder that I have gotten from iForce. It's good stuff. I have. I ended up getting three tubs of it. I still have one back there yet. I gave the other tub that I had to my girlfriend because she needs some protein and she says she loves it as well. It's really good. I definitely recommend getting it if you have not tried it and you're a big fan of red velvet like I am. I'm also going to have some Pepsi Max. And I think the totals for this, for lunch in general, is about, yeah, 960, uh, 964 calories. So there's the macros for this meal. A lot of protein. I like getting a lot of protein in my meals. Um, um, there's all that. Then there's there's part of dinner. My junk bowl. Well, yeah, I got my junk bowl for the most part. I got some ice cream later. Mm. But I still have about 400 some calories left. That's why my macros are looking so far that I have planned for the day. This is pretty good where I'd like to have it up around 270 to 300. So this needs to go up uh, later, which I'll probably add more more junk in here. You know, but not it's called the junk bowl for a reason. But yeah, so how long is fats don't go up too much? So I'm looking to add. More carbs and uh, more protein for the rest of the day. The sugar I'm not worried about today. Uh, the, the, the fiber is looking good. So this is looking like a normal Monday through Friday macro breakdown. Just the foods are different for me than usual. But yeah. So this is what I'm going to have today for lunch. I might throw some chocolate syrup on there. Some Walden's Farms chocolate syrup. That won't really add anything. We'll see how it tastes, but I'm sure this is going to be awesome. So we'll see you at dinner time. Hey, I'm still here. Um, also, I forgot. Look at this. It's my Ben and Jerry's bowl. You can see it says going, going, gone. If you get way down in there, it says gone. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, there you go. Focus is going, going, gone. <laughs> it's a really sweet bowl. I love ice cream. Pretty awesome. I got it when I was in Vermont. I went to Ben and Jerry's ice cream tour. Got the mini Vermonster while I was there. I did it when I was the day after I did the Spartan Beast World Championship race. I probably should have did the Vermonster like I originally planned, but we'll save the Vermonster for another day. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this. I just had to show you the bowl because it's bitchin' and badass. Hey guys, I just had to throw this in there for today. I'm playing Guild Wars 2. And I just completed this mission, and it kind of fits in with the theme of the uh, full day of eating. I can either pick strawberry pie, looks pretty good, uh, chocolate cake, or banana cream pie. Now, it's a tough decision. Strawberry pie looks good, but I'm a big fan of chocolate cake and banana cream pie. I'm thinking... They all do about the same thing. I have to go with banana cream pie. Who does not love some delicious banana cream pie? There we go. Yummy. Hey guys, here we are back with meal number two of the day. This Sunday is about 4.30 p.m. 
Um, here we have a two egg omelets here. We have each omelet is uh, five egg whites. Uh, each omelet has one slice of fat-free American cheese and each omelet is sporting um, about four ounces of 96.4 lean ground beef in there. And then we also have two servings here of green beans. Seasoning them up, fried up a little nice. I didn't burn them over, over burn them this week like you've seen in previous episodes. And then we have about 370 grams of sweet potato. I tried to do it a little differently today instead of just baking it. I kind of sliced it as you see. It's a little crispy on top and it's very uh, soft in this, down here at the bottom. I, I've tried putting some seasoning on there. I don't know how it's going to turn out. But uh, if it doesn't turn out how I think it, how I think I want it to taste, then I'll probably add some chocolate, chocolate syrup on there. And then on these eggs, I'll probably add, well I know I'm going to add, some Frank's Red Hot. Can't have eggs without Red Hot sauce. Egg whites anyway. And then this whole meal is, I think it's about a little over 800 calories if I remember correctly. Yeah, um, 838 calories. Um, 84 carbs, 9 fats, and 102 grams of protein. I added the cheese since last time we saw, uh, filmed, since the, uh, meal one. My protein went up and my carbs went up a little bit. This is what I like with protein, like I said before. Oh, and that, uh, oh, that looks good, huh? But, uh, yeah, this, uh, red velvet cake batter here with the pear and the banana mixed up together, that was really, really good, actually. Very good. Uh, I'm looking forward to having it again another time. But, uh, that's what I'm having for dinner. Lots of high protein. And, um... We'll see you when it's time to uh, go over the junk bowl. We're back here with meal three for this episode of Full Day of Eating on Sunday. My normal junk bowl base. Cottage cheese, Greek yogurt, a tablespoon of peanut butter, a little bit of almond milk, a scoop of vanilla whey protein mixed up in there. Nice and good. Just like, it's like pudding. I have that in the freezer here a little bit so it's a little little uh, harder on the edges but uh, yeah that's what this is normal serving of five or one uh, three three quarter serving of uh, puffins half a serving of the peppermint bark Chex mix because we all know I love it and the one, one of these um, the red velvet Santas I actually have probably like eight or ten of these yet and if you know me, it takes me forever to get through some of these this holiday candy because I buy it and I, I see it in limited edition. I'm like, I don't know when I'll get to it, but I'll get to it eventually. But if you, can, if you have not had one of these before, it certainly does not resemble a Santa Claus on the, when you look at it. It more looks like a... I guess... It has to be something Christmassy. It looks like a Christmas tree, I guess, in a sense. If not, it looks like a pile of crap. Anyway, then I'm also going to have three of these cookies. These Danish butter cookies. I got these for Christmas and I'm still pounding away at them. Um, I think I still have about six in here yet, so that's that. Also, I forgot, I always mix a serving of Cyclorem in there. ZMA. And with this, since this is what I eat every night before bed. And then also, since, you know... It's Sunday. Every Sunday I have ice cream as well, just like every Saturday. But two servings of Turkey Hill Lady Liberty Mint. Two servings of that. Look at this. Look at that crunchy cookie. Oh my gosh, look at it in there. So good. Little Kit Man's excited. Are you excited for ice cream? Setting on my potatoes, buddy. But, uh,. That's what tonight is. Nothing too crazy, but you know, like this. This is 180 calories for this thing right here. Um, as you can see, that's what it looks like inside. I've had one of these before. It's actually good, pretty good stuff. Um, mm, dark chocolate. 
but I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah, this is uh, this wraps up this Sunday. Let's go take a look at the numbers. My sugar for the day is not bad. It's just higher than it usually is during a normal normal day. But that's the totals for this meal right there. There's everything in there. So you guys can see everything that's in this meal. Boom. And there's the totals, total breakdown. 306 carbs. That fat's higher than it usually is. Usually it's like between 70 and 80, but I'm not too worried about that. And there's the protein where I want it to be. Carbs are usually these two numbers are flip flopped down a little bit. This is usually like 70, like I said, and this is usually a little, a little higher. And the sugar is 154. My fiber is where I want it to be. So really, it's not a bad day today. Um, overall, I mean, there's everything. There was what we had at dinner, and there was uh, lunch. So oh, that that was good stuff right there. The pear and the red velvet uh, protein mixed with the banana. That was just some good stuff. Looking forward to eating that again. But yeah, that's everything. So I hope you enjoyed today's edition. Kitman's looking out the window here, checking stuff out. 30. Everything's clustered over here. Kitman just loves it. He loves his life. So gets, he will be eating some of this later, I'm sure. So when I'm done, he likes to get up in my face and uh, work his way into the bowl like usual, like every night. So yeah, I'm going to get eating this. I'm hungry. And I will talk to you guys next time.